Hello everyone, David here. Hope you guys are having a great day. Here we go by popular demand, another hip hop full length mixing course, start to finish. I hope you will enjoy and learn a lot from this one too. We're gonna see the processing for each individual tracks, drums, samples, 808, vocals, doubles, effects, both for plugins and all the analog gear, all the settings, but most important, the thought process as to why we do what we do. Part of this mixing course is gonna be available for everybody on YouTube, but if you wanna see the full course, you can either buy it directly at this email right here or click the join button down here, become a Mixbus TV member, access this and many other mixing and mastering courses. Let's get to it. And now we have our two bus processing. So before telling you what I have, let's bypass it so you can hear without, I'm just going from the drum again because it's more obvious. So let's just bypass it altogether. This is how it sounds without any two bus processing. What is what? Well, you fucking suck. You think you need a shrink and sit in an office with him so we can concoct some nonsense, diagnosis like narcissism? Cause I picture myself running opposite of Hillary Rodham Clinton And rocking 24 carats with diamonds in them These are this my offspring, I'm not bond with them I'm fucking a mamas with no condom in them Fathering them, having them swallow a couple of bottles of clot up in I put a lot of fucking fear of God up in them Not religious I'm a menace and a monster getting godless with it I'm I cannot and I'm a shaman with the laws of you're probably gonna say what the heck right <laughs> there is quite a, a difference so what do we have on the two bus hardware wise and then we can uh, take a look at the settings so the first in the chain is the neve 542s that's where all the huge bottom end and round saturation comes from that's that and also we have the transformers we're gonna see the settings in a, in a second then after that the Neves go into the solid state uh, fusion, which has stuff in insert. One of the insert is the SPL PQ with a low band. Some of the low end comes from that too, although it's clean. And then we have to take a look at the flock audio because I inserted in the path the 670 stamp child and the Mag EQ. So, and then after that, we go back into nothing. I didn't use the SymphQ for the filters. I didn't use my spacecraft nor anything else. Our uh, Fairchild, our 670 is the main compressor for this. Let's uh, bypass everything here. And let's start one thing at a time with the 542s. All right, so you see my settings. This is my saturation blend transformers. I'm in red and I'm in 15 IPS. So we can start by bypassing everything. And right now I bypassed everything else. So Fusion, 670, SPL, Mag EQ. So we got nothing on it. We can start by playing it and I will start with the tape emulation. What is what? Well, you fucking suck. You think you need a shrink and sit in an office with him so we can concoct some nonsense, diagnosis like narcissism? Just cause I picture myself running opposite of Hillary Rodham Clinton and rocking 24 carats with diamonds in them. These are this my offspring. I'm not bonding with them. I'm fucking a mamas with no condom in them, fathering them, having them swallow a couple of bottles of clot up in. I put a lot of fucking fear of God up in them. Not religious. I'm a menace and a monster getting godless with it. I'm I cannot and I'm a shaman with the laws of physics. Listen. Okay, so we are all very familiar with my uh, 542s, which by the way, I was 100% definitely the first one to present them, use them on the two bus after I showed them like a lot of people saw how great they were and just bought them and used them in the same way. We have the brightness and mid-range of the red transformer on the vocals and on the snare, so obvious, and the gigantic round and powerful low end from the tape emulation. And there's really not much to say. These things are amazing. And of course, I mix into them from the beginning. Uh, gain staging is key. So let's go to the Fusion, which is the next in line. Now I'm not using the Fusion basically for anything. I'm not using the drive, I'm not using the HPF, the EQ, or the, any of the stereo manipulation or anything. I'm just basically just using it for the insert and the HF compressor. And I'm catching just that snare. You remember at the beginning when I said I want that snare to be present, but not harsh, 
this helps with it. Look. So it literally just catches the one bright uh, snare and keep it under control and not harsh. After the Fusion, we have the SPL PQ, which I only use for one band. Is this 2 dB and a half at around 36 hertz. Pretty narrow Q, which you can only do with this EQ and an insane 120 volts rail that it has. It just adds that extra oomph in the really sub range for the bass for the most part of the, the 808. Let's hear it with or without. What is what? Well, you fucking suck. You think you need a shrink and sit in an office with him so we can concoct some nonsense diagnosis like narcissism just because I picture myself running opposite of Hillary Rodham Clinton and rocking 24 carats with diamonds in them. These are this my offspring. I'm not bonding with them. I'm fucking ain't mamas with no condom in them. Fathering them. Having them swallow a couple of bottles of cloud up in a portal. I try to insert it when the 808, the low bass comes in so you could hear the difference. That's more than the kick. That's where this one grabs is to just make that bass that we were mixing at the very beginning super big and deep. That's the tool you want. And after the SPL, we have another monster. We have our 670. And of course, we are capturing our mix with the uh, dangerous 80 plus no transformers no extra anything uh, i'm not a fan of that i love that converter but that special processing is not really my favorite but this is our mix printed as we heard at the very beginning we left a couple of moves to the mastering for specific reasons we can actually listen to the mix again versus the master well, you fucking suck. You think you need a shrink and sit in an office with him so we can concoct some nonsense diagnosis like narcissism? Just because I picture myself running opposite of Hillary Rodham Clinton and rocking 24. And this is our master instead. No one ever told y'all what is what. Well, you fucking suck. You think you need a shrink and sit in an office with him so we can concoct some nonsense diagnosis like narcissism? Just because I picture myself running opposite of Hillary but we might see the differences and uh, what did I do for the mastering in a different course. This is the end of this one. I hope you guys liked it. I hope you enjoyed it. If you are a member or you bought the course, you've seen the entire thing. If you are on YouTube and the video stops here, thank you for watching. If you want to see the full course and many other mix and mastering courses, click the join button down here, become a MixFest TV member or write to this email and buy the courses individually based on what genre you're interested in. Thank you for watching. Subscribe if you haven't already. Stay safe. See you next time. Hands on my